We are up at Lover's Leap. We barely found it. This is the legend of Lover's Leap. But you know what? We are one step behind Michael and the boys and oh, I, I have no idea where they went. Oh yeah, look, that's exactly where we were. That is where we were just at, pointing up here, looking at the boys. Mom, look. Whoa. Oh, that goes with the legend of Lover's Leap. That's the legend. Love. Are those the two boys? No, that's a girl and a boy. Oh. And the legend is that they loved each other and their families, kind of like Romeo and Juliet, their families wouldn't allow it. And so they jumped off this cliff over here. Look at this cliff. But where could the boys have gone? We've really got to figure that out because they were cornered and they had nowhere else to go. And that's the legend. But I'm not thinking that's where the boys went. They're not at the bottom of the cliff, but where could they have gone? Because this place is completely empty. What I have a crazy idea and I know that this probably is the wrong time for this, but we have nothing else to do. We can't do anything else until we get more information. I know this probably isn't the right time to do this, but I don't have anything else to do, and I know these kids need a break. What do you guys say we go to the theme park in town? Yeah! All right, let's go. And if we get any kind of messages, then we have to leave right away, okay? Because we need to find Dad and the boys. What if we All right. just get there and then they get a text message? Then we have to leave. So we'll just, we're here mostly, we are here only really to help find the boys and dad and help them in any way we can. But we can't do anything right now, so I think we might as well just go have some fun. Because there's so many bandits on this trail, let's try coming back at night. Because maybe at night, there won't be any, there will be less bandits. Or there will be the bandits, but we'll be able to sneak past them. What do you think, should we come back at night? Yeah. Okay. Dang, they're everywhere. All right, everybody. We wanted to wait until it was dark because we didn't want to try to sneak in in the middle of the day. It's too bright, it's too, too sunny, it's too hard to get sneaking around places. So we decided to hit a park nearby there's actually a really fun park, and so we decided to kind of come here and check it out. Maybe go on some rides while we wait for it to get dark outside so we can infiltrate the bandit secret base. So I think it'll be kind of fun. But yeah, it's sad that Becca and the little kids aren't here, but you know, we're here for a very specific purpose, but we might as well have a little bit of fun while we're at it and uh, see if we can, you know, pass the time. Do you want to go on the ladybug and then the pterodactyl? Yes. 
And you know what the crazy thing is about this place? These are like recreated rides from bigger rides other in other places in the park. So like this is the little kids section, but I actually like these ones better than the big ones because they're a lot more, they're a little bit longer and they're more fun. It's really hot outside. I think we should get some ice cream. I think that would be really nice right now. Do you guys see any places that have ice cream? Um, there's Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots? Where? Right over there. Oh, over there? Okay, I think we might get I'd some. Ice cream. Dippin' Dots is ice cream. Oh, real creamy ice cream. You've never had Dippin' Dots before, have well, you? I've had Dippin' Dots. Well, then what is it? Tiny little dots. They're right there on those tables. That are actually ice cream. <laughs> we'll see if you like it after we try it. I've already had them before. Plenty of flavors. Alright, we'll give it a shot. I bet you're going to like it more than you realize. Tell me what you think, because I think you're going to like it. Just as good as always. Yeah. Still prefer other ice cream. Okay. All right, Charlie. You're all sweaty. I think that means it's time for snow cones. What do you think, Ellie? I want watermelon snow cones. You want watermelon snow cone? Yeah. I want rainbow. You want rainbow? Do we get to keep the cups? I do think we get to keep the cups, actually. Okay. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. And mine is going to be Pino Colada. Okay, the big one. Look at those eyeballs. She got watermelon lime, and he's got rainbow. It wasn't a very good one. But that's it okay. Did, it didn't look like a real rainbow, but it was good. Not gonna go on that one? Is that too scary? <laughs> the catapult. What do you think, James? You wanna go on the catapult? Uh, I can try it. <laughs> You'd brave, be brave enough? Yeah. Okay, you guys. I just found my favorite ride. I just found my favorite what? ride. I wanna go on that ride right there. You see that one? Wow, Mom. See that? I wanna go on that ride right there. Oh! Okay, we're gonna get ready to go on this big one. Corbin, you wanna go on the big one? You don't? It's called Cannibal. You wanna go on it, James? Yeah. Okay, let's go.
went on Rattlesnake Rapids and it was so fun and I am sopping wet. But I oh. found a wishing well. Oh. So it's time to sing. I'm wishing. I'm wishing. For the one I love. To oh, find, find me. <laughs> to find me. Today. Today. <laughs> starting to get dark. Um, it's actually getting a little bit later even though the camera doesn't show it. Hang on, I got some water on the lens. All right, that's better. Anyway, I've just been thinking a lot about Rebecca today and how much I miss her and how hard it is out here having so much fun without her. And I know she's not here with us, but I feel like she's a part of this, you know? I feel like she's a part of this journey. I feel like she's a part of this adventure. And she is, she's just not here with us. And it's hard, it's hard doing this without her, feeling alone. But yet, I also feel strangely like she's with us, you know? Like she's a part of this. Sometimes, as I'm looking around at these people, I feel like I even see her. It's a bit surreal. I know she's not here, but I feel like she is. Wow. Guys. This, there's a girl in there that looks just like Rebecca. I just wish it was. That is uncanny. It's a little bit hard to see through the window, but wow, she looks just like Rebecca. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time <clears throat> to go and get the bandit's treasure and get home and rescue Becca and the kids. Oh my goodness. So, this is so crazy, but we're in this old timey part of the theme park. And it's so weird. This would be the place that I would see bandits if there ever was a place for bandits to be. And also, over and over again, I keep getting this feeling like we're being watched. And I'm just like, oh, this is so weird. But I'm looking around and there's literally no one that looks like a bandit anywhere. It's so weird. But you know that feeling when you're like, is somebody staring right at me like right now? Like, that's what I keep getting. That's what keeps happening. All right, Ellie and Charlie are playing right there. I'm gonna go grab them before I eat all this ice cream. Mm. Today has been a, ta a day of treats and sweets. Mm. Here's a spoon Here. for each of you. Mmm. He just got all wet at Rattlesnake Rapids. Mm. The phone even went crazy <laughs> when it got all wet. That's <laughs> good. Oh. <laughs> well, I gave another one. Okay, be careful this time. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's the stuff. Minty. Minty. I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go on like one more ride. And then we're gonna be done for the day. It's getting dark. Oh my goodness.